um, uh, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, got it. Uh, what, what are you doing? This doesn't matter. Uh, I say, Reginald. I, I say, Reginald. Um, I've been listening to an excellent new podcast called Everything Under the Sun uh, by Molly Oldfield. She's a lady. She's a lady. Who's one of the QI elves? Oh, I like QI is a funny program with the man. Oh, Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I, I've been listening to a pot cast. Pod. What? what? Why, why are you reading from a script? Oh, no, I'm not reading from a script. This is this is the Financial Times. Are you reviewing a podcast? I'm not reviewing a podcast. I thought we'd learnt our lesson from podcast reviews. I I I I um, I say Reginald. I, uh, this is an excellent podcast for children. I like children, don't I, Red? You hate children. No, I don't. No, you sure. hate them. I don't hate children. I like children. They're brilliant. Apart from when they run around and then you have to slap them. I like them. No, um, shush, hang on. Uh, I say... I've done that bit. Um, hello. Oh, God. For everything under the sun, available on iTunes. iTunes. Available. Wait, wait. What? You are reviewing a podcast. I'm... Do- is that, are you getting paid for this? No, no, I'm not. I'm not reviewing. I, I happened. Ah, no, I listen to are. the podcast because I, I listen to the podcast all the time on the wireless machines. And the, and this is for, uh, I say, Reginald. This I've been everything under the sun on each iTunes. You are getting paid for this, are you? Mm. How much? Fifty pounds. Well, I think it's your round at the bar, then. Oh, bollocks. Right, here. My first is in cow, but not in kitchen. Right. My second is in anthrax, but not in Betamax video recorder. Right. My third is in pigeon, but not in the pigeon's anus hole. What am I? You're a bloody fool, man. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a riddle. It's a riddle. Where? Am I standing? No, 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 no. That's a puddle. Oh. No, you're thinking of a puddle. I thought you said a piddle. No, 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 no. no. A riddle is... Okay, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Ready? Okay. So, uh, there's a chap. Yeah. He, oh, he's not got no, his out again. No, 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 no. This is the riddle. This is right. a riddle. Yeah. Listen, right. There's a chap. Yes. The chap's in the middle of the forest. What, what's he doing there? Well, it doesn't matter what he's doing there, does it? He's, he's in the middle of the forest. Right. right. Chaps he's gone the, for a piddle. No, he hasn't gone for a piddle. He just, he, he happens to be. Because I can, you can, normally you can take a bottle with you in the car. Well, why would you go there? The gents is over there. There's a gents in the forest? No, no, there's a gents in He's the club over there. He's gone to the forest there. to meet some gents? No, 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 some not anymore. Friends. Not anymore. No, no, you're thinking of the other thing. Right. Right. So, right. There's a, all right, there's a man. There's a man. There's a man. There's a man. In a forest. In a forest. This is a song? It's not a song, no. Right, there's a man in a forest. There's a man in a forest. Right. Right. Now then, okay. uh, um, the man sees a tree fall over. There's, well, obviously, there's trees in the forest. So he sees a tree he fall sees a over. a tree falls over. Okay. He what that? hears. Man in the no, forest. Uh, yes. He sees a tree. He's surrounded by trees, obviously. He's surrounded by them. One of them, not all of them. One of them. Is this in the front of him or behind him or to the side? It's, it's in his peripheral vision. So he's... Oh, right. Okay, he, so he's, he stood there. Out of the corner of his eye, he sees something. What he was t- he looking at when the tree fell over? He was looking at the other trees. There's lots well, of that's trees. that's unfortunate. This poor tree fallen over and he just sees it and... No, in the corner no, of his eye. No, no be, right. He sees not the corner of his eye, and then he turns around and he sees and he sees most of the collapse of the tree. Just not. I think we're concentrating on the wrong element here. Right. Let's c- carry on. Carry on. Right. There's a man. He's in a forest. Out of the corner of his eye. The corner of eye. Tree falls over. Tree falls he over. turns around and turns sees around. most of what's happening there. Sees most of what's happening. Right. Yes. He also hears the noise of the tree falling over in the forest. Before he sees it or hears it? No, at the same time, because they go together. The tree doesn't shout it's going to fall over and then fall over. Well, I would the, if I was going to fall you're over. You're not a tree. 
That's true. That's right, true. so yes. the noise of the tree is made by the action of the tree falling over. Does that make sense to you? That makes sense. Yes. Right, okay. So the tree falls over. As it falls over, it makes the sound of a tree falling over. Right, got it. Right, good. Okay, now then, here's the concept. If the man is not in the forest, yes. does the tree make a noise when it falls over? Yeah. Well, where did the man go? The man's just... No, uh, the man's the man went shopping instead. Well, he's a bit of an arse, really. Isn't he? I mean, he's standing there, no, not he's... even looking at a tree falling over. He sees it in the corner of his eye. It falls over, and then he looks over and sees a tree, not very impressed by that huge act of nature. No. And then pisses off to the pub. No, he... De- no, no, or to go no, shopping. no, no, no. He hasn't left. Now, what we're doing now it's is... It's wasted on him, man. It's but... wasted. No. What would David Attenborough say? David Attenborough would say, look at that penguin, it's biting my genitals. That's what he always says when they're doing it. Anyway, but the point is, the point is, I think you're missing the point. The point is, we've established, man in the forest, man in the forest, tree falls over, corner of his eye. He sees and hears the tree fall over. If the man is not there, yes. I don't mean that the man was there and he's buggered off. Right. I mean the man was not there in the first place. But the tree falls over... Does it still make a noise? Well, does it really matter? Yes, it matters. Well, obviously, the tree would make a noise. But you're not there. Nor's the man. The man and you no, are No, we're there. in the I'm pub. We're in the pub. The man was never there. The man doesn't exist. That's not part of the riddle. Oh. No, 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 don't think about this that. This is confusing. It's not confusing at all. Right, so you've got a simple situation. You've got a forest. and no really, good... We've established the, the, the situation, but I, I'm not sure that I get the point of the whether I can hear the sound or not. Right. You can't. What does it matter? No, no, no. You can't hear it because you're not there. It's like, for instance, I can't see... No. Babda... No. ...pissing in the gin. No. I just know he is. That's the taste. It well, tastes of his piss. Well, yes. So right. I don't need to see him doing that no. to know he's doing that. You don't. However, you're not in the forest. You've never been to the forest. You know the club. You've been in the club. You've never been in this forest. Oh, yes. You've never been in the forest. Nor's the man. The man doesn't exist. Well, the man was never born. Oh, my God. You're confusing me even deeper now. Right. All I'm asking is if we've got a forest situation going on here with a tree... A tree falls over, you're not there, I'm not there, the man who wasn't born isn't there, Bubta's not there because he's too busy pissing in the gin. All I'm asking is, does the tree falling over still make a noise if nobody is there to hear it? Yes. How do you know? I don't know, but I just want to stop this conversation because it's hurting my brain. If I've got a cat in a box and the lid is closed, is the cat dead or alive? Well, I happen to know that it's dead because I peeped. You peeped inside your box. You're always peeping in my box. Bubsa has yeah. changed the bar menu again. No, no, not again. Uh, you haven't heard the worst of it. No, no, I don't even. He says he's going to stop serving gin. Who's gin? No, he's going to stop serving gin. To the undesirables. To all of us. He says he's upscaling. He's upscaling? Yes. You wouldn't get that at Peter String Fellows. You wouldn't get anything there, not these days. He's just sort of lying in a box. I remember uh, Peter String Fellows in the uh, 80s. In the 80s? Yes. Back in the 80s. Back in the days. Yes. Where you'd order a gin. Yes. And it would come with two go go dancers. Yes. And a flaming Duncan Goodyear. Oh, I remember that. He'd be there. He'd be there, sort of like doing his swimming motion. In his trunks. (laughs) In the trunks, on fire. On fire. I think that's how he lost his hair, you know. It could be. And you'd say to him, (laughs) Duncan, jump in the water now. And he couldn't. Yes. Peter Peter would do anything for his friends. 
Oh, piece of wood. Is he? Going piece to, of wood. He'd bend over backwards for his friends. Oh, for any uh, anyone. He'd take no you in the him. VIP area. He'd always have a good look. Yes, take you in the VIP area, give you whatever you wanted. Jolly good looking, yes. Yeah. He enjoyed that. He, he was a he was a solid spunky chap. Spunky chap. All, spunky all the chap. stars loved him. They did. Do you remember that time when um, the cast of a lower low oh, popped in? Gosh, they were right. They were a riot, weren't they? <laughs> and there was that one who used to... I should say this only once. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So, um... There were pieces all over the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, uh, do you remember? Yeah, they, they, they went to... Uh, ready, uh, ready! <laughs> yes, oh, anyway, so, so, I, so they went <laughs> in and they had this uh, unfortunate uh, conversation. Hairflick, hairflick. <laughs> yes, hairflick. Yeah, so they, they went. <laughs> yes, yes. So they went in. They went in, didn't they? Yes. And they oh, said, "I just say this only once." Yes, you've said it twice. Yes. So, yeah, so they went in. I so, just say this only once. Yes, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, once. Yeah. So they, <laughs> they were pisses all over the line. Pissing on the line. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. they went in. So do you remember they? Oh, were they, they it is I. It is Leclerc. <laughs> yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. So do you remember they they went into the bar? I just say this. Only yes, once. Yes, you said it. Yes. So they went into the bar. <laughs> and, oh, Renee, Renee. They went in. Do you remember? Uh, what? Do you remember they went in? Who? The people. The people went in. Pan's people. Pan's people. Pan's people. Off Pan the, the gods. No, Pan's people, the dancers on top of the pot. Half goat, half man. They were them. The uh, king of the dance. Said he, I am the lord Pan. of the dance, said he. The lord God Pan. God. Dance, dance, the wherever green I'm man. be. The god of nature. I am the lord of the dance, said he. He went to Peter Stringfellow. He went to Peter Stringfellow's. I always thought that was Kenny Everett. No, no, no. It was a mythical god. Pan. 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 Kenny Everett was Pan. Kenny Everett was Pan. And Pan's people were his... Acolytes. That's quite right. That's what happened. That explains Peter's hair. Peter's hair? Yes. Was it his hair or his rabbit? Well, it was ceremonial, wasn't it? Who's ceremonial? Was that his girlfriend? I think so. She was a lovely girl. She was. Did she go into the bar? No, she was with Pan's people. Oh. You wouldn't get this sort of service off Bapta with no. his nonsense. No. We need to have words with him. Which words should we have with him? Cross ones. Cross words. Maybe we should have some sort of protest. Right. A, a, a dirty protest. Yes. Because there's no way. He is no way. Nope. He is changing the bar. No, no, no. Stop no. serving gin for some of this American posh London youth drink. I'm not youth having drink. any... I'm not having youth substances in my throat. Or on my lips. I'm not touching my lips. So There's not going anywhere near so me. We, we need to I make a stand. Or in our case, a, a, a sit. Right? A sit. A let's sit just, down. Just, just, let's just have a sit off. Let's right, sit, right, right, sit okay. here. Right. Try and move as bumper, you... Yeah, go on. Any yeah. bugger. Yeah, bugger, go on. Bugger, yes. Yes. So, should we do a dirty protest? Why not? Okay. You do it first. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Yes? It's been a while. Okay. I didn't have my brat. No, week. no, right. Are you. Are you uh, have you done it? Well, it's sort of half out. Right. Um, what are you doing? I, I'm just. Uh, well, I, I'm just in my pants. You're fouling yourself? Yes. When I said a dirty protest, I meant to shout some naughty words. Oh. You've fouled your pant. I have. We've got a situation. Well, it's the same as every day, really, isn't it? Yes, but not before six. <laughs> it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. Well, maybe it would drive his business away. Maybe it will. And then he'll have to start serving gin again. Yes, Bafta. Why don't you shit your pants too? I think I will. And then I'm going to vomit on my pubis. Let's go together. Here we go. 